If it happens, which I'm sure it's gonna happen, you're gonna lie to me and you're gonna tell me I was the anomaly and it did not happen. And you're gonna take that secret to the ground. <laughs> hey guys, it's me, Ro. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna do a review of Jenny McCarthy's book, Belly Laughs. One of you guys in the comments told me that you think I should read it. So I got it. I read it in two sit downs, two evenings. So maybe like two hours. I have so much to say about it. It's funny. People on the back, I think it was Playboy that said, you don't even have to be knocked up to enjoy this book. That made me laugh so hard. We're in a totally different spot today. We're not in the baby's room because... I just finished filming an interview for somebody else's YouTube channel that's prison related and I really didn't want to be in a room with blue balloons and a nursery for that channel. So once that video is out, I'm going to give you guys a link. You guys can go over and watch it. My um, prison wife advocacy stuff that we talked about in a video where I said I wasn't doing it anymore. <laughs> just kidding. Do you want a bump update before we go? There's a little man. There he is. We are officially in our sixth month and absolutely 100% without a shadow of a doubt, halfway there as of yesterday, which was Thursday. My doctor won't let me go past 40 weeks and I just hit 20. We're entering our sixth month. This is halfway over. Can't wait to meet him. Okay, this book was hilarious to me. 100% worth the read. It's an easy read. It's about, not about, I'll give you an exact number. It is 165 pages. It's around like between 13 and $15 on Amazon new, but I got this used. It said it was in good condition. I think it's in perfect condition. Like there's no dog ears, there's no snags, there's no highlighter. It's like a brand new book. It was like a dollar and change and then $3 for shipping. So I got it for $4. I got it in a few days and I read it in a day. Let's give you a background. I am obsessed with Jenny McCarthy. She might be an acquired taste for some people, but what's great about her is that she is no holds barred. So this book is like an unconventional prison, prison, no, wrong genre. It's an unconventional, conventional, take three. <laughs> She's not gonna be prim and proper and it's not gonna be Charlotte from Sex and the City telling you the story. It's gonna be Samantha from Sex and the City telling you the story, however, it's, Jenny McCarthy, and it's not a story. It's literally everything you need to know about pregnancy. Let me read you guys the chapter titles just to explain what I mean. They're hysterical. She dedicated her book to her son, which I just adore. Chapter one, so you got knocked up, getting pregnant. Honey, your sperm really do work, pregnancy tests. Barfo-rama, morning sickness. Niagara in my pants, vaginal discharge. Psycho chick, hormonal rage. Holy shit, I think I hard boiled my baby, <laughs> taking hot baths. Granny panties, letting go of the G-string. Girl, I'm halfway there and I won't do it. Haven't done it yet. Ordered larger ones. They're on their way, coming from Amazon, but made in foreign sports thongs. I'm telling you, so far. Give me a month and I'll be like, guys, I did it. I just can't stand all of that extra fabric underneath my clothing. I just feel, mm -mm. I just, I'm weird. Not to mention panty lines. I can either pee on you or you can get the hell out of my way. Frequent pee breaks. Passing Stonehenge, constipation. Is it a penis or a vagina? Finding out the sex. Can I have a mustard sandwich with pickles, anchovies, peanut butter, and a little cottage cheese? Oh, and throw some fish sticks on there? Cravings. Where the hell can I find a moo, moo? Nothing to wear. Freddy Krueger ain't got nothing on me. Dreams. Is that an apple in your rectum or are you just happy to see me? Hemorrhoids, Oh. Hi porn star, engorged breasts, girl. Well, it's not 1972 anymore, baby boon baby boomers explaining how it was in their day. That was the hardest thing ever to say in my life. A little dramatic, but. Did a sewer tank explode or did you just fart? Gas. It's so funny, I read Adam every single one of these, but I was like, nee, you, don't need, nee. you don't need to hear that one. Hands off, dude, strangers touching your belly. I can't see, I'm bleeding, I can't stand it. Weird and painful bits and pieces. WWW, I have to stop buying babyshit.com, online baby stores. Is it hot in here or is it just me? It's just me. Hot flashes and fainting spells. Oh, 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 I'll take another one of those, please. Orgasms in pregnancy. The crying game, hormonal blues. So anyway, like I was saying, wait, what was I just saying? Wandering mind. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the prettiest pregnant lady of them all? Clearly not you, lady. Face acne and rashes. It's a bird, it's a plane. No, it's a really swollen pregnant lady. Water retention. 
I just started that in the past two days, but I also had Chinese food. So I feel it mostly in my sneakers when I work out and my feet swell, like they're just a lot tighter around my ankles. So fun. The McRib sandwich, back pain. That ain't my ass, cellulite gain. No, not yet. I'm not ready for this premature labor. Pooping on the table, the dark side of delivery, you guys. I told Adam, there's two rules, okay? Number one, first and foremost, you're not looking down there until the baby's head's coming out and crowning and whatever that you're not going down there. If that happens, you are not looking. You're not allowed to look. And number two, if it happens, which I'm sure it's gonna happen, you're gonna lie to me and you're gonna tell me I was the anomaly and it did not happen. And you're gonna take that secret to the grave and you're gonna make me believe that I'm the one and only woman or maybe like one in 10 births that did not poop on the table, okay? I don't care, it's gonna happen. You're gonna tell me it didn't. Deal? You did this to me, deal, the end. Mortified isn't even the word. And people say when you're in the moment, you don't care. I'm sure I won't, but after the fact, you still live the rest of your life. I want to live the rest of my life believing that nobody else except for myself has ever seen my own shit. And my mom who changed my diapers, but that's it. The blue Twinkies, your sworn vagina. Oh Lord. Die model bitch, die. Hating skinny people. Ooh, I think I felt the baby move or maybe it's just gas. Baby kicks. I thought that for like the first 17 weeks, but now once 19 weeks hit, he's, I've got an active little man in there. And I always tell Adam, I'm like, he takes after you because he can't sit still. <laughs> that is the pot calling the kettle black. The only time I ever started sitting still was the minute that I got pregnant and all of my energy was zapped out of me. But otherwise, both of us are like, let's go, let's go, let's go, move. Always having something to do, always on the move, exercising, doing stuff. Like we're not just lay on the couch and chill and watch TV type of people until, you know, pregnancy, but he's our baby. Organizing freak, your nesting instinct. Breathing for dummies, Lamaze. What the f are these? Stretch marks. I just need to lie down for like five minutes. Okay, maybe three months. Sleepiness. Pig in the pasture. Sex in the ninth month. I said pig in the pasture. I was laughing while I said it. The moment of truth, labor and delivery. Let me repeat, husband no-nos. I have to say that was my favorite chapter of the book. She wrote them as if they're coming from you. Hysterical. So that was a lot of chapters, but each chapter is like a page and a half to two pages. Big print. It's a quick read. As I was reading this, I was like, check check, check. A lot of the stuff she talks about in here is stuff that I've already mentioned in my videos. My first trimester recap, the early second trimester recap, my heartburn video, like all of that stuff. This book was originally written, I think in 2004. So there were no online websites. There were no apps that you could go on and learn from one another and ask questions. This would have been my holy grail because I wouldn't have known anything. I wouldn't have known to expect anything. I wouldn't have known that all of that weird stuff that I was going through, I'm still going through, is totally normal. So this book probably was people's lifeline back then. Could still be people's lifeline. Like I sent this to somebody very close to me who just found out she's pregnant and I'm so, so, so excited, but she hasn't announced it yet. She's early. So I sent it to her. I can't wait for her to read it because I think she'll really like it. I think she'll enjoy it. She also has like a great witty sense of humor, just like Jenny. Oh, let me tell you guys this. Not only do I love Jenny McCarthy, I am obsessed with and love Donnie Wahlberg and I love them together. I just think they are the cutest couple. And I used to live maybe like 30 minutes from where they live in Weehawken, New Jersey. And I used to go to Weehawken and like the surrounding towns with like the famous restaurants all the time, like with my sisters and my friends. And anytime we had somebody's birthday, we'd usually go up there. And I would always hope and pray that I saw Jenny and Donnie. I watched their show. I loved their show. I lived for their banter, their relationship. If you guys watched it though, they're a little off color. And to me, they're hysterical because they're real. They don't sugarcoat. They're just funny. Somebody that Adam knows is pregnant, still very early first trimester, has not announced it yet, but I'm like, I'm going to give you this book to give to her or her husband. I think it's a good book for people to read when they're just starting to learn. But like, are they okay with things that are like a little bit off color and kind of funny, but real? And he was like, oh yeah, they're fine. Hmm. What else can I tell you? This made the bestseller list. It was on the bestseller list, I think for like over a year. And then this was the 10th anniversary version. So it's still going strong. Even with pregnancy apps, it's still worth the read. If you can get it used on Amazon for a dollar and then a few dollars for shipping, 
why not? I could not find it on audio and I'm kind of glad I didn't because I was really enjoying reading, winding down at night for an hour or so, laying in bed. One night Adam had a work thing, so he came home from work, ate, hung out with me and little C for a little while, but then he went back out. And so I used it as an opportunity the second day just to finish the book. It was so, so, so good. It's a great sit by the pool and chill read and discuss with your girlfriends and laugh about it. Great book to give to somebody. This isn't sponsored by the way. I wish Jenny and I were friends, but she doesn't even know I live. I'm alive. I wish she did. She's such a fun, like girl's girl, no bullshit. She would be like the life of the party. The, the friend that you always want to invite to hang out with. The chapter at the end, I have to say, is my favorite. Her labor and delivery was really tough. She wound up going in for an emergency C-section. I'm not gonna say too much more because if you wanna read the book, I don't wanna ruin it, but kind of did give me the heebie-jeebies. I did kind of get nervous, but I'm just gonna be nervous until he's out. He takes his breath, labor is behind me. I forgot all about it. I won't even be able to tell you guys how terrible or easy, no, easy, easy and quick it was because it's just gonna be a, a long, distant, forgotten memory, not memory. You know what I mean? Affirmations, own. Oh, okay. Let me read you the back. Revealing the naked truth about the tremendous joys and the excruciating pains and the inevitable disfigurement that go along with pregnancy. That sounds awful. She doesn't make it awful. She makes it funny. Jenny McCarthy tells you what you can really expect when you're expecting from morning sickness and hormonal rage to hemorrhoids, granny panties, pregnant sex, and the torture and sweet relief that is delivery. Belly Lefts is a must read comic relief for anyone who's pregnant, has ever been pregnant, is trying to get pregnant, or indeed has ever been born. I love that they put that because it's true. Like anyone can read this. Like a gossipy girlfriend, McCarthy brings you in and makes you laugh. There's a certain comfort in knowing that even a sex symbol gets stretch marks and balloons over a hundred pounds during pregnancy. A must have. Jenny McCarthy is now the go, oh, that was from Booklist. Jenny McCarthy is now the go-to girl for pregnancy, says the Toronto Star. Dishes dirt on giving birth that you never knew you needed to know. McCarthy is quite funny and in the end, this is a celebration of motherhood, said Gotham. You don't even have to be knocked up to enjoy this book, Playboy. McCarthy is undeniably crass but funny and her candor and self-depreciation, self-depreciation, self-deprecation. What's the word? Self-deprecation. Just pack it in, girl. Just pack it in. I'm gonna leave it in. I, I have to leave it in. How do I not leave that? that self-depreciation. McCarthy is undeniably crass, but funny and her candor and self-deprecation are refreshing. The sticker's over there, but I think that's somebody weekly. Let's see if I can get it off. Cause you know, I want to give credit where it's due. Publishers Weekly said that. There it is, go on Amazon, get it. I could put a link to it below, but find the lowest price for it if you want it. I wouldn't pay full price. I got it for my friend for, from a different seller for a dollar and change and then a few dollars for delivery under $5, which is awesome. And then just recycle it and give it to somebody and have her give it to somebody. And Do you need me to tell you all of that? If you're interested in another video with me, click one of those videos there. If you don't see that, there's always videos in the description box below. If you're not subscribed and you wanna join the family, I promise there's usually more substance than this, but this was a good book and I'm just like a mess right now. Then click the little circle there. If you don't see that, the red box below. I love you guys and I'll be back. Hopefully a lot less like this, but probably not. We're gonna be like this. I'll see you in the next one. Mwah.